Hi guys, and welcome to another MYAB Essentials tutorial. My name is Samuel Baumeister, and I'm the owner here at Tall Books. Today we're going to go through the MYAB Essentials accounts list, and I'm going to explain to you just a bit of background about why we have one, how to edit it, so add accounts, delete them, um, rename accounts, etc., and basically what the numbering system here is about as well. So basically the accounts list is made up of a range of different account types like income, expenses, assets, liabilities, equity, cost of sales. And each of these accounts are used to help categorize um, the financial transactions that occur within the financial year for the business and help keep records. They also help um, you produce reports throughout the year and give you a good breakdown of what you're spending, what you're buying, what you're selling, etc. So let's get started by having a look at how we get here in the first place. So up the top right hand corner, like we've used a lot in the centrals, you have the menu. If you drop that down, you can see the accounts list, which is where we are right now. The numbering system is used in quite a few accounting systems around the world. And it's very popular because it's a generic template that um, most accountants and bookkeepers understand. So you'll notice that there are specific numbers like four for income, um, five for cost of sales, six for expense, one for assets, etc., that are used um, to help identify and create a system and also helps you categorize them. So you can see here they go up um, down numerically and you can add extra accounts here in between the numbers. So you have a list in order and it just keeps things organized. So that's why we have the numbers there. Try and keep things in number order for your accountant and bookkeeper's sake. Um, it'll make their job much easier and it'll also make your life easier when choosing an account as it will appear under the correct type. So speaking of, let's have a look at adding an account. So let's say we are now a business that sell products and I don't have any income accounts here that show product sales. So I'm going to add an account. Now you notice there's a gap here in between four slash one, 200 and four slash one, 600. So let's add one there. So we'll start off with the number. We'll make it four slash one, 300. We're going to call it product sales. Tax rate will be GST most likely and save that and you can see it's easily added that account for me right there in numerical order as I've chosen. Um, another handy thing you can do if there are a lot of accounts set up and maybe you don't want to create a new one you just want to rename one that hasn't been used yet like for example this licensing income you can come in here and rename that by clicking on edit accounts and simply changing this so maybe we'll make it service sales save that and we've renamed it obviously you wouldn't do that web um, if possible on accounts that already have a balance like sales one and sales two as that will affect um, you finding transactions and might make things confusing um, if you wanted to delete an account it's quite simple if there's no transaction recorded against it there's no balance or historical data against that um, account, you simply click on the three dots here, the ellipses, and hit delete. And delete account, it removes it. If you try and do that with an account that has a balance, it will tell you that it's not possible because it has been assigned to items or used in transactions. What you can do in those circumstances is edit the account and untick active and this will inactivate the account for you once you save it we're obviously not going to do that and that's because you need to keep a history there so um, best to check with your bookkeeper or account before deleting accounts where possible so you can move the transactions and deal with them first and there you go that's the accounts list why we have numbers what they are how to add an account edit an account and how to delete an account if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or send me an email.